Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic is When God Feels Far Away. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from our sponsors. This episode is brought to you by He Gets Us, a nationwide campaign all about raising the respect and relevance of Jesus. Did you see the Super Bowl ads about Jesus? Are you wondering how you can get involved? He Gets Us is a multi-year effort to raise the respect and relevance of Jesus in the United States. Thanks to this unprecedented campaign, millions of Americans are discovering the life-changing impact of Jesus. And we want you to be a part of the movement. Join more than 45,000 He Gets Us fans getting the latest updates, inspiration, prayer ideas, and easy-to-share resources via text message by subscribing to our fans' community. To do so, text FANS to 70193. By being a fan, you can get exclusive updates on new ads, events, and other exciting news related to the He Gets Us movement. We'll also keep you inspired by giving you access to reading plans, prayer guides, and other tools to help on your spiritual journey. Join this community of like-minded individuals who share your passion for spreading the love of Jesus. Simply text FANS to 70193 to join today. Our world can feel chaotic and uncertain. But we don't have to live enslaved to fear. Christ has promised you and I his peace. And throughout scripture, he has provided powerful truths and practical steps to help us experience greater freedom. I'm Jennifer Slattery, lead host of the Faith Over Fear podcast, inviting you to join me and my team as together we learn how to starve our fears and grow our faith. Subscribe at lifeaudio.com. Three Things to Do When God Feels Far Away Written by Adam Mabry Read by Leah Arthur The Lord is near to all who call on Him, to all who call on Him in truth. Psalm 145, 18 God is never not there. Let's state that up front. Yet there have been moments in my own life where He seemed so, so far away that good biblical theology, God is always there, He is always loving, etc., collided with a bad emotional experience. God, this hurts so much. Where are you? Sometimes this paradox is so intransigent that it threatens to denude passion for Jesus at best or destroy our faith at worst. So what are we to do when faced with this situation? What do we do when God seems gone? First, when God seems gone, ask yourself why. The Bible gives us two reasons God can seem far away. The first and most simple reason is our own sin. Amongst other things, sin is a relational breaking. Isaiah 59, 1-2 makes it explicitly clear that our sin creates a relational rift with God. We all understand this because this is how all relationships work. I cannot sin against my best friend by gossiping against him, lying to him, and failing to do what he asks and then be shocked to find out he doesn't want to hang out with me. So, the first reason is simple. Sin distances us from God. But the second reason isn't so simple. The second reason involves God's will, His plans, our sanctification, and our own messy healing. The second reason always involves God strategically employing things we don't enjoy in order to help us become the people who can increasingly enjoy Him. So, when God seems gone, first ask yourself why this might be. It may be that you need to repent, or it may be that you need to wait on God to give you the answer. Second, when God seems gone, open your Bible. At present in the West, we are driven by our feelings. Emotions have come to be the main way most people discover their beliefs about God, the world, and everything else. So, if God feels far away, we conclude that perhaps he is not there at all. Yet, if we would but open our Bibles and read the stories of Habakkuk, Elijah, David, or even Jesus, we would swiftly find that the emotional experience of God's absence is not evidence of his non-existence, but rather a fairly common phenomenon. 
we would find much comfort and truth in the stories of these men. And if we would dig a little bit, we might just find that God wanted us to learn in the seasons of his sovereign silence. Finally, when God seems gone, remember he is not. Your feelings are really only good at telling you one thing, how you feel. So, when your emotions are crying out to turn from God or that he is not good, remind yourself that your emotions are to come under the Lordship of Christ. Your emotionality is fallen, just like every other part of you, and is in desperate need of healing, not heeding. Listen to your emotions, but for God's sake, don't obey them. Obey God, even when he feels far away. Those moments in my life when God seemed gone have been the worst moments of my life. Yet, when I began to embrace the possibility of God's providence in perceived silence, I grew in ways I would never have imagined. I don't ever want to relive the moments when God seemed gone, but I would never want to relinquish what I learned about God from them. When God seems gone to you, I hope you will determine to ask yourself why, to open your Bible, and to remind yourself constantly that he is not gone. This is what you should do when God seems gone. Adam Mabry is the author of When God Seems Gone, Finding Hope When Nothing Makes Sense. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Have you ever found yourself in a moment with your loved ones where you were there, but you weren't all there? Let's be honest. We've all given our leftovers to our biggest fans instead of our best. For Dr. Josh and Christy Straub, marriage and leadership coaches and host of the Famous at Home podcast. With a realistic, grace-filled look at the struggles families face, we cover topics designed to help you become a rock star under your roof, set healthy rhythms between work and home, and build a rock-solid marriage. Because the greatest red carpet you'll ever walk is through your front door.